there's still a lot of work getting done and it's a real grind and it's a 24 seven hustle. And I don't think people really understand the amount of work that has to go into building something like this. My name is Melanie El Turk, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Hope Hijab. We are the leading U.S. hijab brand. Inspiration behind the concept of our brand really was very simple. As a Muslim woman living in America, it was very hard to find hijabs that were cohesive with my American aesthetic. So I wanted hijabs that blended into the rest of my look, and I wanted to be able to find them easily. You really either had to go overseas to get them, which is a huge pain, or you would makeshift hijabs out of neck scarves from H&M or Target, which is also a terrible and poor experience because they're not meant to be worn on the head. In America, we call it college. <laughs> I did go to college, it's weird to say it that way. Sociology actually has helped me tremendously, and that's something I'm just interested in, is the dynamics of people and how they interact. And as a leader, leading a team of 14 people, really understanding people and why they do the things they do and how to interact and how to react has been really helpful. In 10 years time, we've gone from being a side hustle passion project that my husband and I started out of our home and worked on in our home on the side to being a full-time job that we now have in this incredible office and built an incredible team, but also being able to widen our product offering and provide a whole lot of products that we never had before. If I had to give advice to a student entrepreneur, I would say sharpen your skills. Know what you're good at and double down on it. Really do the thing that you were born with that most people don't know how to do as well. I would say to somebody in school right now, to take the classes that interest you. If you're somebody who, who doesn't have that direct path and you know exactly what you wanna do and how to get there just yet, take the courses that even remotely interest you and don't even worry about how long it'll take you to get your degree done. There's still a lot of work getting done. I think from the outside in, it can be easy to say, wow, that's, that's quite simple to do. You just have some fabric, you put it up for on a website and you've got a business. And in the beginning, it can seem that way. But as you grow and as you build and scale, it's incredibly difficult, it's incredibly complex. So I think a misconception is that anybody can do it. So with a growing team, we, we are constantly hiring and I'm constantly conducting interviews. If you're sending your resume and cover letter, do not send it as a Word doc, ever. Send it as a PDF. It's very simple to do, export it as a PDF in Word, super simple.